but it's going to start with a long meditation. Getting you ready, you know, since it's the new year, getting you ready, your energy ready for the new energy of 2021 so that things are ready to progress positively this year instead of being weighted down by all that 2020 junk. So we're going to start in mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, pelvis hips open. Remember, bottom ribs toward your spine and up so that core gets activated. And then shoulders back and down, then crown to the ceiling and arms just relax. So let your belly move as you breathe. Nice deep yoga breathing, inhaling, letting that lower belly expand as the diaphragm drops so you fill your lungs completely with energy and air. And exhaling, sending out the toxins and the tensions as you breathe out. And just close your eyes, focusing inward. We're gonna stay in this mountain pose for the first part of our practice. So breathe deeply, sink deep into your feet, feel that earth support underneath you, Mother Earth always there. And imagine a puddle, a pool of energy at your feet. And just, we're gonna draw that energy up through your feet, through your legs, all the way up to the tailbone. And just giving that base of the spine activated energy flowing into it from the earth. And knowing that this is your center of family, community, support on the planet. And just feel that comfort and groundedness. And then draw that energy up to your pelvis, that midpoint of your lower belly. And know that this is the center of your natural self. So this is where you give birth to who you are and who you want to be. So activate that energy. And then draw that energy up to your solar plexus, right in the middle of your torso, between your ribs, above your navel, below your sternum, that center point that energizes and empowers you. And feel that energy getting activated to allow you to express in the world all that you are. And then draw that energy up to the middle of your chest, that heart center in the middle of your upper torso. This is the center of compassion and community for the world at large, your extended community family that you connect with. So empower that heartfelt energy and then draw the energy up to your throat center, that expression center that allows you to communicate, not just through your voice, but through everything you do with your arms, your hands, your whole activity center through that upper heart and shoulder and arms and hands and throat center your center of self-expression. And take that on up into the middle of your skull. Remember that meditative and intuitive center where you connect with the ideas that you want to express in that throat center. So get those ideas connecting to the universal energy. So we're going to bring that consciousness energy from the middle of your skull all the way up to the crown where you connect to the universal energy coming around you and through you. And imagine that universal energy is just filling you so much that the energy just drains all the way down through the sides of your body back down to cool within that earth center of your heart. And you're just going to flow that energy up from the earth, through your legs, through the tailbone, through the pelvis, through the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the consciousness center in the crown, and just again, flowing, cocooning you in energy, and just bringing that energy up, breathing it in all the way to the top, and then again, just feeling it cascading down your 
surrounding you with new energy, continuously replenishing that pool that you draw up through your learning, through yourself, through your empowerment, your connections, your expression of yourself, the consciousness of everything that you are and can be as you draw that consciousness up to that universal empowering energy, feeling your system filled with energy cascading down to the earth and continuously drawing it up through you and back. And just take a few moments to feel that flow of energy rising through connecting with the universe, filling the earth with even more fulfillment of energy. And as you feel that energy filling you and cascading around you, just draw up through your spine, lengthening and relax into that earth connected groundedness. And then returning to the moment with an inhale, arms up, reaching out to the sides for our usual moment. Exhaling, hands to your heart, elbows a little back. Inhale, arms way up to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then exhale, the hands behind you. Just clasp the fingertips, press them toward the floor as you lift your heart and stretch your spine. Pivot out your hips as you exhale, coming over into the floor again. And just deepen into that full forward position as much as you Lift your sitting bones, bring your hands toward your head, tuck in your chin, and we're going to inhale our way back. Look, feel the spine moving into place. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, shoulders down, and just open across the heart. Stretch your head back, lengthen your spine. Keep breathing. And then inhale and come up, and exhale back into mountain. Take a moment feeling all that circulation. And again, inhale, arms to the sides. Exhale to your heart. Hands out to the front. And then again, exhaling behind you. Clasp your fingertips the opposite way, other hand on the outside. And again, hands toward the floor as you pull your shoulders back and lift your heart, the back bend. And then exhale and pivot over in the forward position. And again, just let those hands rise toward your head, toward the ceiling. Lift your sitting bones, let the back of your legs get a good stretch. And then chin in, ribs up, sitting bones down. Just work your way back up and lift your heart. And again, a nice upper body back bend as you drop those shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Stretch your head back, keep spreading your toes, no gripping. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling that energy activated within you. And our side stretch, so arms out, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders. Cast your hands, turn them around and clasp. And then bring your arms back by your ears and get it stretched out and straight as you can, facing the front as you lean over to the side for that lateral movement. Ribs opening, push the foot you're leaning away from down, reach out through your head and your hands. Take a breath, deepen as much as you want. And then inhale back up to the center and switch your hands, the other one in front. And again, weight on both feet evenly, stretch up, keep the shoulders and hips forward as you lean to the other side. And again, as you reach out through your head and hands, push the foot and lean away from down, feel that extra rib opening. Take a breath, maximize. And then on an inhalation, come on back up, keep your shoulders down as you bring your arms back into mountain pose at your side.
Take a moment there, just feeling all that side opening. And we'll do our twist. So remember, base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart. So you have room to twist. Arms out at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, and arms over your shoulders. Ask your elbows, pull the arms back near your ears. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, ribs in and up, and spine opening in a big stretch up through the crown. And then exhaling, turn over to the opposite side, or one side, and stretch. And then exhale and deepen into the twist for everything. So come as far down as your body likes. See if you can keep the weight on both feet evenly. Arms near your ears, just reach out through your head and your elbows, and don't forget to relax. And then staying in your twist, inhale your way up. And as you get to the top, look up toward the ceiling and pull your elbows back and lift your heart. And remember, no pressure in that lower back or in the twist, just open the chest. Take a breath, relaxing. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Switch the other arm in front and get ready to twist the other way. So again, weight on both feet, sitting bones and shoulder blades down, stretch your spine open, activate that core and exhale to the other side. Once more, lengthen in the breath in and pivot over as you exhale in the twist. So deepen again as far as you like into your forward bend while you're twisted and relax. Keeping the weight on both feet and staying in your twist. Inhale, working your way up and lift your heart one more time. Pull your elbows back, shoulders down. So again, nice upper body back bend while you're twisting. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. And then bring your arms straight above your shoulders, shoulders and shoulder blades still down, away from your ears, ribs in and up, extended mat and pose. So get the weight into both feet evenly. Keep those shoulders relaxing. Reach those arms straight above your shoulders, crown up, sitting bones down. Take a breath. I'm gonna pivot at the hips. Keep the arms next to your ears. Push those hips a little bit back. And come parallel to the floor as much as you can, still keeping those arms straight out by your ears. And then just drop into ragdoll and hang. So lift your sitting bones, tuck in your chin, and let your whole body sink. Pull in a little deeper if you want with your arms behind your legs, pulling in for that lower back stretch if you want. And then arms back to the center. Slide your hands up along your shins. Press the hands into your legs right under your knees. Elbows straight, knees straight, back straight. Chin tucks slightly toward your chest. You get everything nice and straight, stretching it out. And then exhale back down, palms together. And inhale, rolling up, bringing your hands to your heart. And then all the way to the ceiling, looking at your hands, extending up. Hold them back a little bit more, coming to that upper body again for a nice back bend. And then exhaling, hands to your heart. And back into mountain pose. So just take a moment there. Feel all that circulation through your spine, through your whole body. And then we're going to turn the feet out a little bit and do our pelvic tilts. So, angling the feet out, just allow your knees to bend towards your toes, remember not beyond. Hands above your knees, position don't press, no support. And we're going to do our pelvic tilt. So starting with your chest right over your toes and your hips slightly sinking down, we're going to inhale and push the sitting bones back and bring the chest forward, look into the front and to the ceiling, so nice back. And then pull the ribs back, sitting bones down and forward, chin tucking in, bring into that forward bend. So a nice rounded spine. And then at your own pace, breathing, inhaling into the back bend and exhaling into the forward bend. 
So we're working the whole spine here with the focus there in the pelvis. We'll just take a few moments to breathe. And just like we did in that energy flow at the beginning, we started with that standing practice warming up, working that connection to the earth and coming into the tailbone area and the spine. And now we're working that pelvic area. So just focusing on that center of your natural self, just activating that hip and pelvis energy. And then the next time you're forward, just pause there. Inhale, standing back up and coming back into mountain pose. So just again, feel your body and notice that circulation through that pelvic area of your torso. Take a moment there. We're going to focus up into the solar plexus next. And to do that, we're going to go down to the floor. So go ahead and stretch. Exhale, pivoting over, and we're going to come for our transition into child's pose. So hips back on your heels, hands to your sides, and forehead down. Remember, knees together for a good stretch in your lower back or apart if you want to breathe more easily. Take a moment just to connect to that earth connection and heal the support. And then as you inhale, we're going to bring the hands out in front and come up onto table position, hands and knees. So wrists, elbows, and shoulders connected. Spread those fingers out. Come up onto the fingertips. Connect into the knuckles, into the base of the fingers, into the heel of the palm, the whole hand supporting it. Wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Knees under your hips, feet straight back. And we're gonna focus on that solar plexus and build up that heat in that energy and empowerment center. So focus there, solar plexus, and bring it down toward the floor as you lift your hips and look forward. So a backward bend again. And then keeping the focus on the solar plexus, push it up toward the ceiling. Sitting bones coming down and forward, head tucking under, chin toward your chest. And then <clears throat> keeping the focus <coughs> Excuse me. On the solar plexus, maximize that movement. So we're going to bring it down into the back bend, exhaling, or inhaling, and exhaling it up toward the ceiling. And we're going to really focus on the breathing into that solar plexus. So going a little bit faster each time, we're going to inhale down and exhale up. Breathing through your nose as much as you can and just kind of emphatically emphasizing that breath sound as you go into the inhalation and exhalation. And just keep accelerating, going faster and faster, but also keep accelerating the maximum point that you're going down and up so you're really exaggerating. So inhaling and exhaling, maximizing and really getting that energy flowing into that empowerment center because the more you get the heat flowing in this energy center, the more you activate that energy of empowerment. So, breathe, exhale, breathe, exhale. Faster and faster, further and further. Really work it out. And then come back to neutral. Sink back on your heels. And again, come into child's pose. So feel the heat, feel the energy flow. You've got it moving and really energized to that empowerment center. And now we want to bring it up to the heart just like we did in that energy flow at the beginning. So we're going to come up onto our knees. And if you've got a pillow or a mat, you can fold it over and come up so that your knees are padded. And we're going to do a little heart opener with a supported camera. 
So your knees are under your hips and your shoulders are above that. You wanna have the toes either straight back or a little bit toward each other for a little bit more supportive connection through the knee area. And then the heel of your palm at the bottom of your back ribs and the fingertips down toward your hips and waist and hips. And then rotate your elbows toward each other so that you're bringing them toward each other and really feeling that opening across the chest, across the heart area. And then press your hands into your back and lift your heart looking up. And then chin a little bit toward your chest always so that you're not crunching that back of your neck. And reach the top of your head back toward the wall behind you. So just keep the hips as much as you can over your knees and lift your heart higher toward the ceiling, really opening across the chest. Pull those elbows even further toward each other and to any position. Take a breath, keep lengthening through your spine and breathe, opening the chest, opening the heart. And then tuck your chin back towards your chest, coming upright, release your arms, and again, sink the hips back towards your heels, and come one more time into child's pose. So take a moment here, just breathing and relaxing. Feel that back of your heart open as you're in child's pose. And then inhaling, bring your arms again out to the front. Here we're going to come into table position one more time. So knees under your hips, feet straight back, wrists, elbows, and shoulders long. So take a moment there, just getting positioned. Remember, you want those bottom ribs up supporting your lower back while you're here. And chest a little bit down so you're not crunching that upper back. We're going to focus next on the throat center and through the arms and shoulders. So slide your right hand forward and bring your elbow down right where your hand was under your shoulder. And slide the left hand also. So you've got both your elbows down under your shoulders and the hands are straight ahead on the floor. We're going to take, oh, uh, let's take the right hand behind your left elbow. So it's like making half a square with your forearms. And then we're going to sink your hips back toward your heels and slide your left hand forward along the floor. Plant the palm, fingers spread. And then as you exhale, sink your hips back a little bit more. Feel the shoulder open even further. And then tuck your chin in toward your chest and bring your forehead down toward the forearm of your right arm. Or if you like, and you sink back even further, you can bring it down toward the floor and get even more opening through that shoulder. So it depends on how your body works and how far you want to go. So just keep sinking the hips back toward the heel. Keep that hand planted, feeling it connecting down to the earth. And just feel that whole shoulder area opening even further. Take a breath. Relax. And then as you inhale, bring the top of your head up, looking forward, slide the left elbow back into place, turn that right hand back and back into elbows and knees position. Notice that one shoulder feels different from the other, so we're going to, of course, do the opposite. So keep your right hand where it is and pivot your left hand behind your right elbow. Again, hips back toward your heels, starting that shoulder opening, and then slide the right hand forward even further, opening the shoulder more. Plant the palm, sink the hips back, and then bring your forehead down to your forearm and further toward the floor if you like the shoulder opening. So take a breath. Just relax. Remember, personal practice, do as much or as little as your shoulders need. Take a moment and breathe. Hips back, 
shoulders sinking. And then inhale, bring your face back up. Slide your elbow back into place. Pivot your other hand out. And again, into your elbows and knees position. And then we're going to go into wisdom pose. So taking the hips back toward your heels, slide both hands forward. Bring your forehead all the way down toward the floor with those shoulders still opening. And connect the forehead down to the floor. So this activates not just that shoulder area, self-expression energy, but it also connects you into that middle of the skull consciousness center. So go ahead and focus on that inner skull connection. Take a breath, hips sinking back. Forehead deep. Shoulders drop. And then inhaling, lift your head and slide your hands back. Come all the way back into child's pose. Hands next to your feet, forehead toward the floor, and shoulders down. Just relax. Take a few moments there to breathe. And then inhaling, sitting up on your heels. We're going to slide off and bring the legs out in front. And we're going to go into stash position to begin. Sitting bones back, legs straight, core activated, and just roll onto the floor. So as you come onto the floor, just allow yourself a little reclined integration, allowing your whole body just to relax down into that surface beneath you. We're going to do our usual twist. And again, that's going to activate that mid skull consciousness center, giving that meditative connection, opening the crown energy. So bringing your arms out to T position at your sides, straight out from your shoulders. Bring your hands, palms up or palms down, get your shoulders really connected. We're just going to do our usual twist. So sitting bones toward your heels as you bend your knees and draw those heels in near your sitting bones, feet flat, knees straight up toward the ceiling. And then again, sitting bones further toward your heels, get that low back down. As you bring your feet up off the floor, knees right above your hips. We're gonna roll the knees to one side and turn your head toward the opposite side. So keep those shoulders, shoulder blades down for your middle back twist, knees over to the side for your low back twist, and head turning to the other side for your neck and shoulder twist. So remember, personal practice, whatever's right for your body, maximize or minimize, always just choosing what's right for you. So take a few breaths. Simply relax into the twist. Remember, you never have to force anything. Just allow the twist. You can have your feet down for support, or you can have a pillow under your knees if you need it. Take a few breaths there. Just relax completely. Breathe. Exhale. The more of those ligaments will release. And your body will relax into the twist. Let's take a few deep breaths and relax. And then heels back toward your hips, and rolling onto your back, coming into your center position. You can bring your feet to the floor if you need to reposition anything. And then we'll get ready for the other direction. So again, knees right above your hips. We're rolling your knees over to one side and turning your head the other direction. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, middle back twist, head turning, neck and shoulders, and those knees coming as far toward the floor on this side as they are. So again, deep breaths, just relaxing, letting those knees come as far or as gently as you go. 
And again, just maximize or minimize whatever choice your body needs in all the different parts of your spine. Take a few breaths, jaws relaxed. Shoulders down, knees toward the floor, head turned. And when you're ready to release on this side again, pull your heels in toward your hips as you roll back to the back and bring your feet down. We're going to slide out into corpse position. Bring your hands, palms up at your side, letting your shoulders and shoulder blades sink into the surface beneath you. And you move back and forth on that lower back sacrum area and get pleasantly sunk into the earth. And allow your legs to relax as well. So again, focusing on that energy flow from the feet up through the legs to the tailbone. Activating that grounded energy. Just letting your body sink deep into the earth beneath you. Let your belly move with that pelvic energy. Just breathing in and out. That lower abdominal area as the diaphragm pushes things out of the way. Feeling your breath. Exhaling and releasing. Feel that torso, the solar plexus. Feel that activated energy. Relax through that whole midsection of your body. And focus up to the heart, mid torso, upper torso, heart and chest. Let it relax through the heart, through the shoulders and throat and arms and hands as well. So all that communication energy, connection energy, just activated and released through your system. And then draw your focus up into the middle of your skull, letting your jaw and face relax. Let that meditative energy really activates. And open the crown to fill you with the universal energy. Let your whole body sink deep into that earth of yours. And let it go. As another earth supports you, just let thoughts of all your body, all your energy system be released from your awareness. Just letting the energy flow through. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. Just let those thoughts disappear as easily as your breath floating away and release. As the thoughts flow in, just enable them to flow back out without attention. Breathe deep. Let your body sink. Let your mind float through. Letting awareness of the past release. Letting anticipation of the future disappear. No need to think of any content of your thoughts, just let them go. Allow your body to breathe deep, your mind to float free, and your awareness to turn inward to that peace point within. Fill your body with peace, fill your mind with peace. Just take a few moments to be.
and still relaxing if you'd like. Or begin just noticing where the energy is activated in your system. Pulling energy and awareness again back through your system, in your body with more energy, all the energy centers activating the whole system as you begin moving your body gently. Now, as you breathe more deeply, just begin stretching your body more fully, allowing everything to begin moving as you are ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, just press your sitting bones towards your heels, drawing your heels towards your hips, and then pull your knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that good appreciative yoga hug, letting your body know you appreciate its work activating your energy today and all the body parts as well. And let your body know you appreciate its daily work for you every day. And when you're ready to release that hug and appreciative connection, just bring your feet to the floor. And your knees rolling to the side, sitting back up and preparing for whatever's ahead for you today. And in the year ahead. Thanks for joining us.